Greetings, brethren. I am your brother, Hosanna David. Welcome to today's teaching. In my previous video, I talked about what we shouldn't expose our weaknesses to. And today I want to talk about don't tempt temptation. Do not tempt temptation. I know that God is always with us, but we must not open our eyes to go and wake up sleeping dogs. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh is standeth take heed lest he fall. Some of us have overconfidence and we get deceived by the level of confidence we have to the point that we open our true eyes and walk ourselves into temptation. In the Lord's Prayer, remember one of the lines is that we pray, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We ask the Lord to deliver us from evil. We ask him not to lead us into temptation. So why should we lead ourselves into temptation intentionally? Some of us, we expose our weaknesses to temptation. For instance, if you are a born again Christian and you used to have problem with alcohol while you were in the world, even after coming to Christ, after being set free from the addiction addiction grips of alcohol, you still need to stay away from alcohol. It is safer for you to stay away from it. Exposing yourself to alcohol, even though you have overcome it, it will create room for temptation. At the first place, the best weapon over the best weapon against temptation is actually to prevent the temptation. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Uh, some of us like to fight with sin, but we will be wiser if we avoid sin, if we avoid temptation. It is good that we set boundaries for ourselves so that we can avoid many of these things that come to tempt us, even as in our in our. Many of these things that tempt us in our work with God. Look at Samson. Samson actually tempted temptation. He knew that these people were his enemies. He decided to go into a city, slept with a prostitute, and he stayed till midnight before he went home. This was... Uh, a foolish decision to make as a child of God. Why will you go right into the camp of your enemies? Because you have overconfidence and even wait till midnight before going home. Even if God will protect us, wisdom should teach us that there are places we shouldn't be and that there are things we shouldn't expose ourselves to. I have a principle and the principle is that it is not every battle that I need to fight. There are battles that I need to avoid. In fact, in life, over 50% of the battles we fight can actually be avoided. They can be prevented. So why not prevent the battles that you can avoid, that you can prevent, and reserve your strength to fight the ones that you cannot avoid, the ones that you can't prevent. The battles of life are actually so numerous, but if we are wise enough, we will avoid as many as we can. Even if we have the strength, there is a, there is a parable. Uh, I don't know how to put it in English, but let me try to explain it. It says that no matter how strong a strong man is, even though he will always win the battles, even though he will always win the fight, they could make his back to become bent. He, that means 
no matter how strong he is, even though he wins all the battles he fights, they could, the battles could bend him over. That is the truth. So we should try never, we should try never to expose ourselves to temptation. Some people feel some level of confidence because they feel, because they are born again, they can do some things. Uh, for instance, when you relate with the opposite sex, do not tear down the normal boundaries you're supposed to put in place. There should be boundaries. Uh, when I see youths who uh, remove these boundaries because they feel that they have anointing and they could, uh, I mean, grown-up adults ask a fellow Christian sister to sit on their laps. This is uh, it's ridiculous. That's the truth. You don't expose your flesh to weakness because naturally the flesh is, is, uh, is weak. Naturally, the flesh longs. What I mean by weak is that the flesh longs for the things of this world. It lusts after the things of this world. So no matter how much anointed you are, do not open the door to expose your flesh to sin, to temptation, because uh, the flesh is prone to committing sin. Your anointing may not respect you if you do not respect your anointing. What do I mean? When you are with the opposite sex, keep your boundary, no matter how anointed you are. Always keep your boundary. Uh, body contact should be watched closely because uh, before you know it, even with your anointing, your body could react because you are a computer. If you click a key in a computer because it has been programmed, the computer is going to respond accordingly. That is how we humans are. You can't be with the opposite, opposite sex and then you are having body contact and you believe that the anointing of God is there to regulate your body while you are sending messages through the body contact to your senses. And you don't want your body to respond because you feel you have anointing. No, it is never like that. We shouldn't tempt temptation. Let sleeping dogs lie. If you know that uh, you are weak in a certain season, for instance, you are in your mind, you are downcast. You are not happy in that season. You, you, you are worried. For instance, you are worried about what you do not have. I know it's wrong to be worried, but that is a time that you need not go to where people are actually counting their gains because it is going to increase the number of questions you have been asking yourself. If you are lusting, for instance, if you are suffering from lust, there are some opposite sex you need to stay away from, like those you, uh, you are weak towards. You need to stay away from them for a while. If you are infatuated with a sister or with a brother and you are lusting, why expose yourself to that kind of person at your weak moment? It is wrong. How many of us tempt temptation? Because you feel that God is there to deliver you. You feel you can expose yourself to just anything. Before Cain killed Abel, God warned Cain, but he didn't listen. Let us be wise. If we live by wisdom, we will be able to avoid over 50% of the battles and temptations we face. Thank you for listening to this message. Please share it with someone. In case you want to contact me, you can reach me through my website, hosanadavid.com or igulayopona.com. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please do where to subscribe as I continue to post these daily videos. 
Thank you. Don't forget to share. Bye.